Hello, everybody. Welcome back to another video. Today's video, I'm going to show you how to draw a Brachiosaurus, a realistic Brachiosaurus, not a cartoon one like the last Brachiosaurus video. And the only one. Was, it only, was that the only time I drew a Brachiosaurus? I don't remember. All right. Well, anyway, today's video, I'm going to show you how to draw a realistic one. This has been a request by Luke Zilla. Once again, he wants, he would be very much appreciative if I to draw him a dinosaur and today and he wants a brachiosaurus now because he tried to draw a brachiosaurus for his channel but you know we didn't but that's okay don't worry all right as without going right in let's do this amazing video it's gonna be cool all right i'll start off by doing the basic skeleton structure so we're gonna have it standing up i'm gonna even have its head kind of turned so we're gonna I don't know if that's heads. Way too big. Brachios make your Brachiosaurus head small. They have, for the body sizes, relative to the body sizes, they have quite small heads. So it's, it's just this is a basic structure for the head. Then I'm going to draw the neck. This is going to be kind of, this is going to be sort of, just just a little a line down here just to mark where the neck's going to be. It's going to come down like this has a very long neck. All right, let's draw it. Don't go oval shape. Let's kind of, kind of have a, a sort of an angle pointing up. We're gonna have like a big sort of sh the shoulder is gonna be quite humped over like this. And yeah, and then the leg. We're gonna have one of the legs kind of forward, kind of over like this. Littles. It's gonna be something like that along the lines of that. Then that's gonna come up like so. Alright, I'll draw the back leg. Back leg's gonna be a bit shorter down the front leg. It comes quite high up. And the back legs the back leg it's shorter than the front leg. It's definitely it's noticeably shorter. But it's also slanted down, so it's so like both, so they still meet at the ground evenly. Try and make it as even as possible. Kind of draw in the ground. Okay. Draw an evil. Then we we'll have the ankle like that. And then I we'll have sort of a nice calf here. And finally, that kind of. Gonna kind of bring it into the body there, connect it into the body. We're gonna draw. We'll draw the tail in. Don't worry. And then, as for these back legs, or we'll once put the other side of the body, have them kind of close together. So it's kind of taking us out. This is kind of like the brachiosaurus that I drew from the Jurassic Park scene. It's kind of what I'm sort of going for. Might get a bit different than that. And so yeah. So yeah, you can kind of have the foot, kind of make it sort of come out like that at the front there. All right. And let it come back in like so. And then we can have this leg, the back leg of the other side of the body come in, ankle kind of there. And then you can just have the rest of it behind that leg. There we go. I'd say that's looking pretty rocking. You have it kind of calm out like a sharp curve there. All right, might bring up this shoulder up, out a bit later. All right, let's do the tail. I have the, the tail. The Brachiosaurus doesn't really have much of a long tail because it doesn't need a really long tail. Because with that's just like the T-Rex, they need a long tail to balance out their head because their head is, it's, you know, at, right at dark at the front of the body. So it needs a tail to balance that huge head out. But the Brachiosaurus, well, A, doesn't have a, doesn't have a big head for its body size. And B, it's, he it's, it, its neck stands upright. So it's not teetering down too much 
like the T-Rex. The T-Rex's head went completely, I had a long neck that went completely, completely upright like that. Uh, and I wouldn't need such a long tail either. But there we go. Now, as for the stomach, you can kind of bring that out like so. Let me connect that up there. All right, let's do the neck. So we're gonna have the back of the neck kind of come down. No, that's it. I know that's not what I want. Sorry. Okay. So, let's see how to do this. I kind of forgot how to draw a neck here. All right. Let's just first. So, kind of its head. Its neck's gonna be curve. It's curving backwards. So, we want the bottom of the neck to start here, and then and this is this is the bottom of the neck, the line that we have at the bottom of the neck, and it's kind of it's gonna curve in like that. Okay, so then the back of this part of the neck, so it's slowly kind of curve in like so, and this part can kind of. In this part, this is the top of the neck. It can come in like so. There we go, and connect into the shoulder there. Nice. Make sure you have a nice big hump there for your shoulder. And then this is going to be the shoulder blade kind of area. Oh, I'm not very good at the names with the anatomy of anything really. I just draw. I don't know much. Well, I, don't, I, don't, I know a lot about dinosaurs, like facts about them, like, fun fact, you know that the uh, first Spinosaurus skeleton ever found was destroyed in World War II. Fun fact. If you've got any cool facts about dinosaurs, then be sure to put them in the comments down below, or cool facts about drawings, art, anything like that. I would love, love to hear it. Alright, let's bold out this. Make that nice, nice and bold. There we go. All right, let's draw. Let's do the head properly. This now. Okay. So I'm gonna give a circle there. Make the circle a bit smaller. I'm gonna kind of have it like that. But then I'm gonna bring it out. This is the snout. Kind of heads. We can. You can do whatever you want with your head. Doesn't really matter. And then we, I'm gonna make mine's jaw open. All right, crest, we come here. Like so, super nice and easy. And connect that out and bring the jaw back there. And we're done. Down we go. Down. Why I say down? I just say here we go. All right. I'm gonna have kind of have that. This is sort of like I don't know what you would call it. You know, on your chin, there's a bump there. That's kind of what that is. I think it's called an apple. I don't remember what it's called. I don't. Right, I'm gonna bold out this because you know how much I love to draw my uh, bold out my dinosaurs. If you've seen my other videos, you know I like to. But and then this time we're actually gonna draw in sort of the toenails or well, whatever you'd call them I don't know my fair share about dinosaurs but like I said not not the anatomy I was always the dinosaur loving kid and the dinosaur drawing kid I've been drawing dinosaurs since I was like six years old obsessively yeah I've been getting a lot of comments asking how I so <laughs> good at drawing dinosaurs. And thank you guys for that, for com for those compliments. I love them. And I'm sure you guys are doing well. There's a lot of good art channels that watch my videos and go to art channels that I watch, like Danny the Dinosaur Drawer and stuff. I've, I've shot them out before. And yeah, and Luke Zilla is really talented as well. Go check out his cool videos. He's also, like I said, he's the one that requested this video. So please do go check that out. There we go. All right. 
we have our basic structure in of nice and bolded out. This is the basic outline of our brackets. Why my hands so for some reason my hands are very shaky when I draw now. For some reason. My lines are kind of bumpy, I don't know why. I really do not know why. But there we go. Basic it's too tall for the camera to see completely. I should probably I should probably should have raised the camera up a bit more. Use some more board games to elevate it up. <laughs> yeah, I get a lot of comments asking how I have my camera set up. Uh, it's 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 a stack of board games. I'll show you. This is my this is this is my this is my put my phone up on there. This is my setup. Yeah, professional. I know. All right, let's go back in. All right, let's draw the eye. The eye is gonna be. No, by the way, <laughs> I flicked my pencil away. That isn't that very, very much so professional. Okay. There we go. Uh, eye is too big. I find that one of the hardest things about drawing dinosaurs is the eye. Gosh, the brackets are. Where do I put the eye on brackets? I don't know. I know where the nostrils go. The nostrils are actually up here. I made lots of people draw them here. And I've seen it in a lot of toys as well. Where the nostrils are here. The nostrils actually are up here. It's another fun fact that you know. Right, I'm just gonna draw the eye there. You can put your eye wherever you want that you think it should be. There we go. The bracket source, it's it has a very square. As you can see it's like box like that. It has a very square draw like that on both sides, as I've seen. Alright, there we go, looking quite fancy smancy. As if I do this on myself, we can kind of draw in the teeth. Has very flat, not sharp teeth. Its teeth are it's uses its teeth to strip off leaves from like ferns and things like that. Or like I guess not ferns because they don't eat off the ground, but uh, like from trees. I don't I don't I don't I'm not a plant guy, I'm a dinosaur guy, I'm not a plant guy. I know nothing about plants, which is why I failed in school. Alright. <laughs> so let's do the let's do a lot of, of the neck folds before we get into doing the scales. I'll fast forward the scale part, the scales part, because it's boring. Let's do some. Let's do a lot of these neck folds. So a lot of them can add more. In the time lapse, I may add some more. There we go. It's a lot of neck folds. And then you can have some more lines up here. You can kind of. Bring in the ribs a bit. What I could do with my ribs is I just do the little squiggle so they don't look too prominent, but you can still see them. And let's do a lot of this. There we go. Looking pretty, pretty good. Now. Let's go in and let's we can do some shading. Just a little bit here. I'll do most of the shading in the time lapse. I mean, guys, we're almost done here. Let's just put in some, a little bit of the spine, uh, which is, or like the, you know, the backbone kind of in. The tail's going to be curved around, so we can have our backbone, which is kind of, Curve in. All right. There we go. All right, guys. Just a couple more things, and then I'll get into the time lapse. All right. It has some folds in the skin. There we go. Looking pretty good. And there's some more lines kind of there. Okay. I'll do the like I'll do the rest later. And just kind of bring that in. Alright, guys. There we go. I think that's gonna do it. Let's get into the time lapse of drawing all the skills. Let's go.